There's a plan for Martin Luther King Jr. Harbor Hospital to open its doors again. The University of California plans to partner with the L.A. County to get the hospital up and running. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth live now in South L.A. at the now-closed hospital with more on the plan that still needs to be approved. Leo. Now, L.A. County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas just finished up a news conference here at the hospital. He says during his campaign for the job, he vowed to get this hospital reopened. And he says in a couple of years, that could actually happen. After being mired in controversy over whether it could provide adequate medical care to patients and amid failing a federal inspection costing millions in federal funding, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors agreed to shut down Martin Luther King Harbor Medical Center nearly two years ago. Now, state and county officials say a tentative agreement has been reached to reopen the emergency room and other inpatient services at the hospital near Watts in three years. Under the plan, the hospital would be operated by a board equally controlled by Los Angeles County and the University of California. Upon election to the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, Mark Ridley Thomas vowed to lead the charge in finding a way to reopen the hospital, which is in his area of responsibility, the second district. He's been on the job about 100 days, taking over the district from retiring Supervisor Yvonne Brethrade Burke. I think to the extent that all parties, the governor's office, the governor himself, uh, the president of the University of California, uh, the chief executive officer, as well as the five board members of the Board of Supervisors have saluted this conceptual uh, framework, uh, you have a deal in the making. Now, Supervisor Ridley Thomas says the much improved hospital that he envisions would actually be built or constructed or housed in the building behind the old hospital. He says it would be in towers, about three layers. He says the price tag would be about $390 million. It would be a 120-bed facility. Now, he says none of that money would come from stimulus money. He says it is in the bank. He would not provide details. Live in South LA, Leo Starr with ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. All right, Leo, thank